Hey, I'm back with another Jamin's Code Quest, and today let's look at building a Mac app with React Native. Well, React Native for Mac OS specifically. Now, if you go to the docs, at least as of this video, you may or may not be able to get it running. For example, 0.78 is already out, but they talk about 0.76, which is not true. 78 works, and then you see 76 here, and yeah, this React-Native at latest won't even work. I am talking to the team there. Hopefully they'll get this fixed very soon. So we won't uh, follow the guide specifically. We'll do something a little different. In the description of this video, I will actually link to a gist that has all the commands we're gonna run so that you don't have to try to transcribe them from the video. I am kind of assuming that you already have your environment set up. If you don't, go to the official reactnative.dev docs and go to the set up your environment. Make sure that you're on macOS and iOS and then follow the instructions here to make sure that you have all this uh, set up for building iOS apps. Uh, if you have this set up, then you should be able to do the rest of this. If not, you know, let me know in the comments what you ran into. Now, the first thing you do is you actually don't spin up like a React Native Mac OS app. You don't spin up a Mac OS app. You just spin up a regular React Native app with an iOS and Android folder. In this case, I am knitting a pizza app and the current version is 0.78.3. Of course, videos like this don't age super well if you put specific versions in there, but uh, you know, this is just a guide to help people get started. So go ahead and run that. I am calling this pizza app, which is sort of a standard within Infinite Red because one of the very first React Native apps that we built was an app for ordering pizza, which was pretty cool. If it asks you to install CocoaPods, you don't need to do that. You can just hit no because we're gonna be doing a Mac app. Now CD into the pizza app, and then open it in the editor of your choice. In this case, I'll open it in cursor. I'm just gonna use NPM here. And now we have an Android and an iOS folder, but we want a Mac OS folder as well. So let's, let's go ahead and run this. NPX, React, Native, Mac OS, dashes between all of it, and just hit enter. It shouldn't take too long, and you should have a Mac OS folder. And it gives you some instructions here. However, we want to enable the new architecture. And if you're not familiar with the new architecture, I've done some content in various places in my blog and whatnot. We'll do more content on Jamin's Code Quests as we dig into the new architecture. Go into this new folder, Mac OS, go into the pod file. The main thing is we wanna turn on Hermes. I've done some Hermes content on this channel and Hermes is essentially, it's a JavaScript engine that Facebook built just for React Native and it does work on React Native Mac OS. So make sure you turn that to true. Now don't try to get fancy and turn this fabric enabled to true. I mean, you can do that if you want, but you are still at this point going to need this RCT new arc enabled. So you'll see that in future commands that we run. Go back to your terminal. And now we're gonna run this pod install, but prior to the pod install, we do need to add that flag. So as you can see at the bottom here, RCT new arc enabled one pod install, and then I give the project directory of Mac OS so that it installs in the proper. Uh, project directory. Once that installs, we want to run the Metro Packager. This is relatively straightforward. NPM run start, and you should see the Metro Packager pop up. We need another terminal. You should be in the same directory, hopefully. And with that same flag to enable the new architecture, let's do npx react-native run Mac OS. And let me turn off this sidebar so you can see the whole command right there. And hit enter and it should compile. It'll take a little while here, so just be patient. While it's compiling, I wanna actually say that I've started another channel as well, Jammin Game Dev for my game development stuff. So you can go check that out, Jammin Game Dev, and I'm building a combat helicopter game. It's been a lot of fun. The first time you compile, it will take quite a while, but subsequent compiles should use caches and be a lot faster. And there we go, it's launching. Ta-da, we have a Mac app. Awesome. I wanna actually customize this a little bit just so we can see that it's actually doing something. Open our sidebar back up and just jump into the app.tsx. I've rearranged this a little bit so we can make some edits and see if it live reloads over here on the side. Hit save, and it says, hey, welcome to my Mac OS app over there. Awesome. I also wanna add a section that tells me if I'm running with the fabric renderer or if it's using the older paper renderer. Const is new architecture. This is a Boolean. We're gonna grab from global this, 
as any.nativefabricuimanager. And let's wrap that in Boolean so we know that it's actually a Boolean. And then let's add a section. Section title equals architecture. And then inside of here is new architecture, new architecture, or let's say legacy architecture and hit save. And when we look over here, we do have new architecture shows up. If you want to test whether that actually worked or not, you can recompile with equals zero instead of equals one in that flag, and it will hopefully show legacy architecture there. That's uh, just kind of an intro to React Native Mac OS. Of course, there's a lot more to this, but I wanted to help get people started with this at least, and maybe save you a little bit of time when you're getting things spun up. If you like this video, you want to see more React Native, React Native desktop, new architecture, all kinds of different topics, do subscribe, please, and like this video. Maybe put a comment down below. I appreciate it. I read them all. Thanks a bunch, and see you all next time.